So I'm talking to Ann Carnes of MasterCard, and you spoke today at the City Digital Money Symposium, um, and you made a comment on stage that got retweeted a lot on Twitter, which was that you know that the key to eliminate cash is financial inclusion, and a number of people on stage talked about the sort of millions of people around the world who are unbanked, um, and MasterCard is working with a number of governments um, in the U.S. and several governments in Africa. Um, South Africa and Nigeria, you know, working with prepaid cards and, and the unbanked, unbanked population. What, what are some of the benefits for governments in, in going down this route? Well, there's an enormous benefit for governments in financial inclusion. First of all, moving away from cash makes your economy so much more transparent, and that's really in the interests of government. Also, it actually saves money. Our, our cost of cash studies that we've done around the world show governments that it can um, cost something like 0.5 to 1.5 of their total GDP to actually move money around, to count it, to have the uh, fraud happening and so on. And so governments are very interested to hear this. and. They're actually talking to us, as you say, um, in America where we're working with the U.S. government um, on social benefits cards and that will save the um, U.S. government, you know, an enormous amount of money over the next few years. We've just started working with the South African government where they are using our cards to give their population who receive benefits, which are about 10 million people, and many of them unbanked, the ability to receive their benefits on cards that they can go and use in supermarkets to buy food. And these are biometric cards. They're actually activated by fingerprint and voice control. And you can see how great that will be in the emerging markets. We've worked with the Egyptian government on payroll for their employees and uh, during the um, disturbances during Arab Spring uh, these were some of the uh, employees in Egypt who actually received payment. Some people who got cash didn't receive their payment because of course systems can break down in a cash-based environment. So and also we're working with the Indian government in the Punjab to actually get benefits to grain farmers directly into their hands rather than go through a cash chain which is much more reliable in terms of getting hands and money into the hands of people who really need it and finally we're working with the World Food Programme which I think is wonderful to help them on digital food distribution which is really getting money into the hands of people to buy food rather than trying to transport food around the world with all the cost and all the loss that can incur. So moving on to a, a, a different subject, you also talked about um, the MasterCard Labs, um, which is sort of run separate from MasterCard, uh, the company, sort of a run the company, change the company type scenario. Um, you talked about some of the different strategies the labs use, including sending people off to Iceland in the winter so they have nothing else to do. So you know what, I, how's, what, what's going to come out of the labs? You know, what, what's innovative that's coming out next? Yeah. The labs are very innovative and they've come up with over a hundred really viable ideas this year which just goes to show you how innovative they are. And what they do is they, they don't operate in isolation, they pull in people from all over the company and they organize these express innovation workshops all over the world. As you've mentioned we had one in Iceland quite recently in winter which um, you know gives a lot of time for people to think. We've also had one in Istanbul, we've had them across America. And the key thing is um, bringing to people, people together of diverse backgrounds because research has shown that diverse teams beat non-diverse teams hands down in innovation. And the type of things that we've produced are things we've rolled out in Canada and Sweden where we're working with merchants to actually give a complete social buying experience so they can post online, for example, if they have goods they want to sell today, they could post online, I'm reducing my jeans by 50% if you come to my store between 2 o'clock and 4 o'clock. Um, people who can receive those uh, offers on their telephone can show up at the store, they can use their GPS systems to find it, they can tell their friends, they can retweet and we've found that it's been very successful, particularly up in Sweden where we've rolled it out in a university town. The, the students absolutely love it. You mentioned Sweden and Iceland. I'm, I'm thinking prepaid mitten, mittens. <laughs> Coming next. Thank you.